Hi, everybody. So I am Lauren Delisa Coleman, and um, let me just start by saying I'm really happy to be here. This is my first Digital Capital Week, and I'm used to either being, you know, in New York at conferences where everybody's out for blood, or you know, at LA where it's all about making the biggest entertainment deal with like designer sunglasses. And so I like the vibe of this. It's a lot of fun, but like business at the same time. But let me tell you what else I like. Jay Z, Snoop Dogg, and Ice Cube. These three men have had a major impact on popular culture. And I've been fortunate enough to work either directly with each of them or on projects that they have created. And I've helped them to make an awful lot of money in the process. In fact, I wish I had some of that money, but that's okay, I'm working on it. But I've actually been helped, able to help them do this because I am adamant about tracking and forecasting cultural cues. And I'm starting to see a major shift in these cues, which is what I want to talk with you about today. And it's absolutely fascinating. In fact, I am so fascinated by it that I decided to shutter my business after many years and focus solely on this specific area, which I'm about to get into. I started a business after I left MTV called Punch Media Group. And essentially, we created strategy and development for a lot of companies in the entertainment and media space. But now, I am focusing on studying and analyzing a particular kind of behavioral segment, which I think is very pertinent to those of us in the room today. And it's such a new field of study that it doesn't even have kind of a title, so I had to create one for myself. So I'm known now as a socioeconomic digitalist. And that means someone who's actually tracking social change as it converges with popular culture and the tech revolution worldwide and the impact of that on business. And let me tell you, it is a wild ride to watch all of this every day. So an example of it would be, let me use Jay-Z again. I would take an incident where many of you probably know he recently created a digital video, probably at the behest of the Obama campaign, to speak about voting and why one should vote. And he made a variety of different comments within that, one of which was that you know we, we being kind of ambiguous, hadn't voted before 2008, et cetera. So I decided to analyze the backlash against that, simultaneously looking at why so much of that video was consumed across mobile, and came to a number of conclusions which I'm finding are very, very shattering almost. And a lot of businesses are just not getting this right now, and I think that's why there's so much trouble. So I am working now to be able to kind of look at this in a more holistic or organic way. I think the reason why a lot of people are having trouble grasping the great change that we're going through is that previously it's been looked at in silos, right? So that technology is changing our brains or, you know, everybody's crazy because of the economy. It's not one thing or the other. There's a confluence of events that's taking place. And I find it fascinating to be able to study and track them. And in fact, as I'm doing this, I've found the rise of a new phenomenon, which I'm actually calling smart power. I'm redefining it from the political term, which some of you may know, and actually spelling it differently. But I'm defining it exactly as this, as the rise of a new mindset, where people are certainly much more self-determinant, socially conscious and aware, and using digital platforms, particularly mobile, to change the socio-political and socio-economic dynamic between us, again, not only in this country, but around the world. So I'm using three tools primarily throughout the day to be able to further examine this and share my findings with the world. So the first is a daily podcast, primarily weekly um, daily podcast, called Smart Power. Um, and let me be a little bit hip-hop about it as well, you know, do a little promo. It's, of course, free across iTunes under LDC Radio and the Stitcher application, if you guys are into that as well, for podcasts under LDC Radio. Um, that's point or platform number one. Number two, I released a book earlier this year called Rise of the Smart Power Class. It entered Amazon under Best New Media Studies. And third is something I'm really, really excited about. It's kind of a social entrepreneurial endeavor called GlassLDC.com. And with a new team, I'm actually looking at something that's very special. And I think at first glance you might say, wow, she's created the first ever comment aggregation site. It is that to a certain extent, but it is so much more. So what we're doing is actually real-time analysis 
across the comment sphere on the hottest news topics of the day in celebrity, politics, race, and technology. And once we get out of beta form, we will add women, foreign affairs, and sports. And so we're looking at the sentiment and going much, much deeper than what is seen in the media to be able to kind of forecast out. Rooting this not only in my own research, but that of other um, respected academics as well. It's, it's entertaining, but it also gives a, a new way of being able to, to look at the way we're interacting as human beings, particularly across a digital platform. So, in essence, um, this space is really something which people are starting to gravitate toward, I guess because, well, number one, it's new, and we all like new things from time to time. But the real, I think, value of it is that it is helping people to be able to forecast opportunities early out, to see trends further um, on before their competitors do. Because we're living in a time of great flux, everybody knows it, right? Things are moving you know, incredibly quickly. And particularly if you're dealing with the digital space, whether it's you know, from the device side or on over to software, you need to be able to understand behavior and how that's kind of coming together in this new world that we're creating. I think that it is incredibly important too, because too many people, I think, are still kind of living with that whole tipping point philosophy of their consumer, right? Which I think was a very valid kind of philosophy, but that was for the 20th century. We're now in the 21st century, and people are no longer interested in being like the lemmings and following. We're looking at something which I'm calling very leaderful. So it's really my mission now to be able to further examine and analyze and bring out more of this really phenomenon that I'm seeing as it converges, of course, with the digital space, primarily mobile. And so, um, in essence, I'm doing this as a professional speaker. I also consult with a couple of different companies as well. And I'm going to be putting together a seminar that actually focuses on this with some very hot speakers. If you are interested, you can give me your card after so I can keep you up to date. But this is where it is, and um, I know that I'm really a pioneer in the area, so I'm very glad that I was invited here to talk about this. So I invite you to you know, follow me as I'm following you know, others in, in the social game. My website is ldcoleman.com, and I think my Twitter handle was already given Media Empress, but I'm actually migrating it over to Ultra LDC, so either one. And who knows, as you're following me, I might be able to put you on the path to being able to make a gang of money like Jay and Snoop as well. But even more than that, I'm hoping that it helps you to be on the best side of social change as we all move through it. Thank you so much for listening. Great. Thank you so much, Lauren.